Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for coming back after the impromptu break, and I appreciate the self-direction and autonomy on that one. Um, this is, I think, the most important session of this week, and I wanted to thank CPTR for um, having this session and also for including it um, at this spot, which I think makes a lot of sense to have it after we hear the regulatory perspective and before we go do a really deep dive into the drug development updates. Um, because the patient perspective is really why we're all here. Um, as much as we talk about curing TB, we actually want to be curing patients. Um, and a big part of that is making sure that what we're designing and developing is acceptable and useful to them. Um, so I hope that this session um, really gives Fumeza and Steve a chance to not just share their experiences, but share their um, hopes and instructions for you guys on how we can do a lot better. Um, and I think both of them have been extremely courageous in speaking their stories, but also just for undergoing really grueling treatment um, that you'll hear more about. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to them. Fumeza is gonna share her story first, um, and I'll just read a brief bio about her before she starts. Fumeza Tisile is a health activist in 2010, she was diagnosed with normal TB, while all along she had XDR-TB. She went through a grueling treatment of MDR-TB that left her deaf in both ears. She was told, however, that she had pre-XDR-TB, and her daily medication was increased with even more side effects. Fumeza beat XDR-TB against all odds in 2013 after an arduous two years of treatment. She was appointed as TB Proof's advocacy officer in 2015, and is responsible for communication with traditional and social media, and was recently appointed a national TB ambassador of South Africa. 